My name is Lee Fuman, and I'm director of the University of Texas Marine Science Institute, chairman of the Department of Marine Science, and manager of the Mission Aransas National Estuarine Research Reserve. As our global population increases, our demand on all sorts of food resources is increasing, no surprise to anyone. And our demand on seafood is, is increasing tremendously. We're harvesting more and more fish every year, every decade, and as the prime species are diminished by our harvest, we're moving on to species that weren't sought before. And so uh, the phrase fishing down the food, food chain has, has come up, and it's exactly what's happening. In response to that, we're doing a lot of research here at the Marine Science Institute, Institute that deals with that. In particular, we're trying to understand how fish populations are suffering and how we might remediate that problem. We're also trying to develop methods for offsetting the natural fishing with commercially reared fish for market. And so in our fisheries and mariculture lab, Dr. Joan Holt is working in both of these areas. She works on natural reproduction in fishes in the bays and the recruitment of young fish into the bays and the, their survival. But she also works on developing methods for artificially spawning these fish in captivity and rearing their young. In fact, this is one of the most interesting success stories of the Marine Science Institute. And this opened the door for two major contributions to natural fish populations. Firstly, it allowed Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, for instance, to use this technology that we developed to grow their own young fish, to spawn them in the lab, hatch out the eggs, grow the young up to a small size, and then take them out and release them into the bays. The other use of this technology is in commercial production of redfish for restaurants and the market. There are at least three commercial businesses in the state of Texas that use this technology to, to breed and raise redfish in captivity and then sell them to markets and restaurants.